actually, pag sinabi natin genetically modified, you change the uh, genes ng fish. Hi, I am Dr. Emmanuel M. Veracruz, Professor 6 at CLSU College of Fisheries and Agri-ATM resident uh, expert on tilapia production. Today, we will debunk myths about uh, tilapia. Okay, uh, some tilapia ay, hy ay hybrids, pero hindi naman lahat yun ay bad sa atin. Kasi one of the objective ng hybridization is to increase the growth rate of uh, the cultured uh, fish species. Another is, in the case of tilapia, to produce all male population. So we can uh, cross uh, tilapia, for example, male tilapia hornodo with uh, zeze sex chromosome, with female Oropromis niloticus with uh, XX sex chromosome. So it will produce uh, all male population with XZ sex chromosome. Actually, if we sex reverse tilapia, we are using synthetic hormones, specifically 17 alpha methyl testosterone. But uh, we treat tilapia from 31 or 21 to 28 days, and during that period, we feed them with uh, feed with the synthetic hormone. But based on our studies, uh, after several uh, months the amount of hormone present inside the body will be minimal, especially if we will culture the fish for four months or five months or more. Yung red tilapia is a result of a hybrid between two species of tilapia. Here at FAC, we also produce red nile tilapia. It is a mutant of the uh, gray nile tilapia. So we produce also red for a single species of tilapia. Tilapia na yun ay ginamit namin sa pag-produce ng YY tilapia but because of several process at several years na pinag-aralan yung isda na yun, may lumabas na actually ang kulay niya is ma medyo orange and then later on tumagal na yung orange. But we call them red tilapia. Actually, ang red tilapia ay yun ang madalas binibili ng mga restaurant because of the appearance na similar to some marine uh, species ng fish. So, pag binenta nila yung tilapia na yun, inihain, uh, medyo mahal na yung presyo. Actually, pag sinabi natin genetically modified, you change the uh, genes ng fish. Actually, YY male tilapia is genetically modified. We do not have YY uh, male tilapia or tilapia with YY sex chromosomes in nature. So, nag-produce kami ng fish with YY sex chromosomes, so genetically modified yun. Actually, yung main aim is to increase yung production, but we have also other objectives where yung resistance to cold temperature to high temperature or uh, increase resistance to diseases. Kaya lang, ang primary aim sa atin kasi, ang pinaka-importante is yung growth sa culture ng tilapia. Si tilapia meron siyang omega-3. Kaya lang, in some cases, yung ratio ng omega-6 saka sa omega-3, mas tumataas yung omega-6. It is also based on the food being eaten by the fish. So, in cases that you want to increase your omega-3 ng tilapia, in relation to omega-6, kailangan pakainin siya ng uh, feed components which is high in omega-3. Pero kahit na, ano, oh, hindi maganda masyado yung pagkain, meron pa rin siyang omega-3. But in some cases, medyo mababa na. What's the difference sir, between uh, omega-3 and omega-6? Actually, yung structure lang niya, kaya lang ang omega-3 mas beneficial kesa sa omega-6. So, mas importante yung uh, high level ng omega-3 kesa sa omega-6. Anong introduce ang tilapia sa atin, na i-release na yan sa natural environment, wala naman masyadong effect sa natural. Not like yung other species ng fish, like yung janitor fish, na introduce sa Laguna Lake and other species rin ng mga aquarium fishes na 
kumalat sa natural environment. Yung tilapia wala siyang masyadong effect sa natural environment. Yung bad effect yung iba, like for example, pag in-introduce yung ibang species sa uh, natural environment, kinakain niya yung mga uh, naturally existing organisms. Yeah. Pero yung tilapia naman, kasi usually ang kinakain lang ng tilapia are plant materials or mga uh, may microscopic uh, plants. So wala siyang masyadong uh, effects sa environment. So ano kaya yung ibig sabihin ng contaminated? Uh, wala naman masasabing uh, bad characteristics or effect yung tilapia. Actually, pinuproject nga na in the future, karamihan ng protein na uh, isusupply para sa pangangailangan natin ay manggagaling sa tilapia. O isa, isa yung tilapia sa magandang alternative source kasi isa pa yung feeds na ginagamit sa kanya walang masyadong hormones not like in the case of sa poultry wala rin masyadong antibiotics and others na hindi lalagay so most of the commercial feeds available ay safe for consumption sa fish uh, actually we can also culture tilapia sa tanke sa tanks we can culture tilapia in tanks, we can incorporate yung tilapia sa hydroponics so pwedeng tawagin siyang aquaponics so ang medyo disadvantage lang pag kinukulture natin siya sa tank kailangan sinusupply natin siya ng complete feeds so karagdagan ko siya sa production not like in the case of pans, pwedeng lagyan niya ng fertilizer to produce a natural food na pwede niya kainin pag kinukulture natin siya sa tank uh, kailangan natin siyang bigyan ng commercial feeds. Ibig sabihin ng commercial feeds, these are complete feeds having all the nutrients needed by the fish. Pag isinama natin siya sa hydroponics, ginawa natin yung aquaponics, so yung kanyang uh, waste materials, yun ang nagiging fertilizer ng crops. Tapos uh, yung mismong crops naman, pinifilter yung tubig para pag bumalik dun sa tanke, malinis na siya. Ideal for the culture of ng tilapia. May pera, kaya lang, kailangan alam mo yung pamamaraan kung paano siya alagaan. Kasi kung hindi mo alam, masyadong mataas yung cost, lalo na pag intensive yung production natin, pinuculture natin siya sa tank o kaya sa pan under intensive culture system, mahal ang cost ng feeds. So, kung hindi natin alam yung tamang pamamaraan, hindi nga tayo kikita. Pero kung alam natin, uh, kikita tayo dahil kailangan yung ating sale ay mas mataas kesa rin sa cost ng production ng tilapia. So kailangan importante yung alam natin kung paano aalagaan yung isla. Hindi yung basta alagaan na lang natin na wala tayong masyadong alaman. Pag ganun nga ang ginawa natin, hindi tayo, posibleng hindi tayo kikita. Thank you.